I'm, I'm very comfortable traveling and very comfortable being in different environments. And that's true of these, which were crisis environments. The photographs are coming from 2005 after Katrina, which is Mississippi, 2010, which is Louisiana and Mississippi post BP, and then 2012, which is post Sandy, New York and New Jersey. All three times were actually, they were very different, but the same kind of, the same kind of emotional feel was less during the moment and much more after, with the exception of when I went to Waveland, Mississippi, and then there was just, uh, it was just horrific, just the amount of oil that was coming onto the beach. It was just, it was untenable. The Deepwater Horizon loss, when it happened, it was a massive news story. It was always in the news for like a good few months afterwards, in part because oil was still spilling. And then I think it's very easy for these things to slip out of the news, and you know, there's many other things in the world that we need to care about. So I think like a show like Zoe's, is really nice for kind of reminding people what happened, um, getting us to think about that maybe in new ways too. And I think, you know, the images that Zoe is showing kind of allows us to do that. You see places that are coming undone by crisis and calamity, and you also see the way in which people continue to kind of plod through and they find their way, and they find their way amidst the chaos. In many ways, many of these things were, I, I was very interested in looking for where people were comfortable, where they were kind of finding a little solace or what needed to happen. And so I felt coming out of some of that, that it was, there were amazing things that people were able to do to get things going for themselves and for others. I, it was until Sandy, and then kind of thinking about, kind of going back to the BP work a little bit, and then taking a look at it and thinking about the inevitability of what we have to contend with with climate change and then all of a sudden kind of seeing these these echoes in both the Sandy and the Katrina work some of them were indistinguishable this project has an arc that we're just beginning to see take shape here and because of our gallery because of our faculty because of our student voices we're able to be fortunate enough to, to be a part of this creative process and this critical engagement um, with the way our world is constructed and the way we treat our world. We know that we've been changing the environment. We know that we need to do something. We know that we need to move. If we want to decrease our CO2 inputs to the atmosphere, we need to in decrease our fossil fuel consumption. There's all these kinds of, these things are not new. Like we know the science, we know the recommendations. What we actually need to do is act on these things. This work is not successful in the sense that it can record kind of a receding glacier. So it is not the work that necessarily helps to tell the real story of what it means for us to be, to contend with how, how our lives will be changed. And, and so I, ha I think these photographs are actually, these are more about, you know, honestly, the idea to realize that, that it, this is it, like we're here. We're not waiting for the impact of climate change. This is it.